Confusion reigns as Venezuelans discover their new banknotes. Tuesday was the first working day since the government knocked five zeros off prices and devalued the currency Bolivar by about 96 percent. What cost a million Bolivars last week now costs 10 on the price tag. But real prices have actually gone up. People don't understand. They leave when they see the prices because they don't understand the new money. We're also confused about the change we have to give back. The opposition called for a general strike, with one politician estimating that 60% of the population joined in. But many businesses remained shut, not because of the strike, but out of uncertainty. President Nicolas Maduro also raised the minimum wage by 3,000%, but after years of hunger and hyperinflation, it's difficult to see how the new economic programme would pull the nation out of the crisis. The president has to freeze prices or something. Printing more and more banknotes isn't the solution. Everything's expensive and the situation in Venezuela is getting worse. At a tense meeting in parliament, opposition leader Henry Ramos Alup attacked the government's new economic measures. The government's problem is that it does not have dollars. This is a tragedy for a country like ours that imports 70 percent of everything it consumes food, medicine, hospital equipment, machinery, etc. In a show of defiance, the ruling Socialist Party organised a mass rally in the capital to show support for the president's policy. But optimism shown here is a far cry from the country's economic misery. This year alone, hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans have illegally crossed into neighbouring countries looking to escape the worsening crisis.